do long tattoo sessions affect the body? Stay tuned for tips and more. Hey guys, I'm Hayley Tattooer and this is Tattoo Talk. So I just want to take a second to talk to you guys about large tattoo sessions and the effect that it can have on the human body. First of all, what constitutes as a large tattoo session? So I'm going to class a large tattoo session in two different ways. First of all, anything over eight hours in one session and anything more than 16 hours all up. So if you're doing big sessions, day sessions like one after the other, anything more than about 10 hours over several days would be considered a large session. So what I have noticed is that, especially in Australia, we find a lot of people like to travel overseas to Bali or to Thailand to get large tattoos done. This is for a couple of different reasons. It is mostly because, first of all, it's slightly cheaper. It's not hugely cheaper if you find good quality artists, but over a large session, that really adds up. So perhaps if your artists in Australia are charging between 120 to 220 an hour for tattoos in Bali or Thailand or something like that, more likely they would be charging maybe 70 to 120 an hour. So if you're doing 10, 20 hours, that really adds up and you get a holiday. So we're seeing more um, people going overseas. Another reason is that we are the generations of instant gratification. So our generations, generation Y, millennials, Zs, we like instant gratification. We wanna have things done now. That's fine, I'm like that, but generally speaking, tattoo artists in Australia won't overdo it. We won't force you through an unnecessarily brutal process just to bang something out really quickly. We want you to be able to heal. We want the tattoo to heal well, but a lot of people just want to go overseas and come back with a leg sleeve, go overseas, come back with a back piece, and that's totally up to you. Side note, if you're going to do that, please, please research your artist, word of mouth, make sure that they're clean because there are a lot of tattoo shops over there that aren't. And I would definitely not recommend going over there and just picking one when you're over there. Make contact with your artist, make sure that there's no language barrier, that kind of thing. I might even do a whole video on how to approach an international tattoo artist, so I'll put that aside for now. But yeah, people want to get their tattoo done now and they want a lot of it. So those are some reasons that they're going overseas. But what I'm seeing is that these artists overseas are doing 10 hour sessions, 12 hour sessions in the same day, 20 plus hours over the period of two days. And this can really have some adverse effects on the body. So what you need to think is that when you're getting a tattoo, you are opening up the skin. You are creating a wound. Even though it's not a deep wound, it's still a wound. And your skin, the dermis, the epidermis, is the largest organ in the human body. So, if you're damaging a large area of the largest organ in the human body, it's safe to say that you're really, really going to impact your immune system. Even though the tattoo isn't very, very deep into the skin, so it's not like a really deep wound and you're not going to bleed out, it's still a lot of healing. It affects your lymphatic system and it affects your immune system. It's also going to affect your liver as well because not all of the ink and that kind of thing that goes into the skin stays put. Some of it goes through the lymphatic system and needs to be processed by your liver and you know, your liver either stores it or it gets rid of it. If you're doing large quantities of tattooing in one session, it really just puts a lot of stress onto your body. So you really need to think about that before you do those big sessions. If you're still going to do a big session, make sure that you are at 100% health before you go over there. You need to make sure that your vitamin levels are good. You need to make sure that you haven't been sick in the 
weeks or months leading up to it. Because if you go over there with compromised immune system, not only are you going to a foreign country that perhaps doesn't have the same pathogens that your immune system is used to, you've got new pathogens and new foods and new influenzas and that kind of thing that you're exposing yourself to, and then you're going and causing a huge amount of damage to your skin. You can't expect your immune system to keep up. So if you are gonna do something like that, make sure you are in 100% health. The other thing that I've kind of noticed is I've had a couple of clients, guys of mine that have been coming to me regularly since they've turned 18 with the idea of getting a full body suit. That's cool. I've worked on them for day sessions. I do a 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. day and I will do maximum two days in a row. At that level, most people sort of tap out before then. Some people do better. And what I'm noticing is before, these guys will sit absolutely fine, nine till four, will bang out a big day on one of their arms, no worries. Then they go overseas and do a 20 hour session or a 12 hour session or something like that on their torso, on their legs, and their body just goes into panic mode. Their body is just like, what is happening? Their mental state is poor because you know, you're in fight or flight constantly for that whole time. The stress, the adrenaline, you know, the pain, the shakes, you know, you get the shakes, you get the sweats, you haven't eaten good. You probably, you know, I don't know if you're staying hydrated or not. And then the lymphatic system's got to go in and say, we've got to heal up this huge amount of skin. We've got all these other things going on. If you're not in 100% health, it's, you know, your immune system's not even operating at 100%. So it's got to leave behind whatever it was doing and go and heal up this big wound. And if, like I said, you're in a foreign country, there's extra pathogens that your body isn't used to. And God forbid one of those gets into your tattoo. But the body goes into panic mode. The guys recover from it come back, they heal up, they're changed. They don't, they either mentally change, they can't handle the mental anguish that a large scale tattoo puts you through. These guys that have sat absolutely fine for full day sessions prior to this big event, and then they come back and they can't do it anymore. They can't mentally put themselves through it, or they can't even mentally bring themselves to get into the studio. And if they do, their body shuts down. An hour into the appointment, they get the sweats. Their body starts bleeding. They feel lightheaded. They just can't get into that mental zone where you can sort of just sit through it and continuously keep going. And, you know, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I feel like what I'm seeing here, and I've seen it many times, not just once or twice, but many times, and I've talked to a lot of people and they concur on this, is that I think that what is happening is you're giving your body post-traumatic stress disorder. When you have a large event like that and your body just panics and can't sort it out or has to work really, really hard to heal something up, it panics if it finds out that it's happening again. It's, it's a trauma and it's stress. And when they come back to get tattooed, they just can't do it anymore. So, you know, those kind of things are yet to be confirmed um, by the medical community, but us tattoo artists, this is what we see. So it goes against saying it would be better to perhaps not do such big sessions, keep it at eight to nine hours of tattooing a day tops and don't do more than two days of those because that's when your body really, really starts to say no and you really don't want to damage it forever like that. You still want to be able to get tattooed in the future, especially if you're going for full coverage. So just take it easy. If you still want to do that, do the preparation. Do the mental preparation, do the physical preparation. Make sure that you're in 100% health and that your immune system isn't struggling to deal with other things and then you go and put this big heavy load on there. So yeah, not really much advice um, in this video, but it's just something that I've seen and I wanted to, to talk about. So if you have any questions about getting a tattoo overseas or getting a tattoo not in a first world country, please pop them in the comments below and I will discuss with my peers and we will try and get back to you. Head over to my Instagram account, Hayley Tattooer, to see some of the work that I do and some of the stuff that I do. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.